Shall we? There's those days getting longer again, Carol. You can feel it already, can't you? <laughs> Not. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> what? Maybe by a couple of seconds, John. Yeah, yes. Right. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is a cold start to the day, though, wherever you are, more or less, this morning. The exception to that is Northern Ireland, Western Scotland, and Southwest England, where the temperatures are a little bit higher. So a chilly start, a frosty one. Last night, temperatures in both Braemar and Balmoral fell to between minus 9 and minus 10 degrees, making it the coldest night of this winter so far. Before we go to weather, yesterday was the shortest day of the year. Of course, that was the winter solstice, meaning we can soon look forward to mornings and evenings gradually becoming lighter again. Yay! <laughs> yeah. uh, spring is coming and look, this is a live shot. This is the sunrise right now at Stonehenge. No special effects wow. required, no filter. Uh, traditionally, of course, thousands of people gather there for the summer and winter solstice. Not so many this time because of restrictions, but it looks absolutely Look gorgeous. Look at the sky. It? It's so pretty, isn't it? I've been there as a reporter sometimes, and it's always a bit of a chance. Sometimes it doesn't quite work out. It's a bit cloudy, but that is one of the best I've seen. That's great. That's beautiful. Spring is coming, guys. Honest. Carol, is that true? Please tell us spring is coming. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> well, well, yes it is. <laughs> But not today. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is a cold start to the day. It'll be cold at Stonehenge. These are the kind of temperatures that will greet you if you're just stepping outside. Now, yesterday was the shortest day of the year, known as the winter solstice. Now, what does that mean? It means... Things can only get better. <laughs> so mornings and evenings are gradually becoming lighter again. Saw so a beautiful sunrise at Stonehenge earlier on. This is the scene right now. Isn't that, that. fantastic? That's from a, a drone shot, isn't it, I think? So you can see it looks a bit frosty there on the ground in Wiltshire, but Stonehenge, see a few people still hanging around after the sunrise. It was been spectacular out there this morning. Uh, you've been sending in some of your pictures of uh, the sunrises where you are. I think we can have a look at some of those right now. What have we got? Take us around the UK. Wow, look at that. That's Somerset, so staying in the West Country. Richard sent us that from Wells. Thank you, Richard, that's epic. And this is the view in Epping this morning. Thank you to Brenda for sending in that gorgeous sky. Epic in Epping. Epping. Good. <laughs> Alison has captured this beautiful image for us in North London. And Julia, thank you for this. Isn't that beautiful? That's Julia's garden. Thank you for everybody who's been sharing all the gorgeous pink skies with us this morning. Keep those coming as well. We'll put them on social media during the day. I think we need that this morning, don't Definitely. we? Definitely. Uh, Carol's going to promise, what do they say, red sky in the morning? Don't know. Don't Happy want to morning. finish the sentence. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Well, it is a cold start to the day. You're not wrong there, John. There has been quite a widespread frost as well. In fact, we've had the coldest night of this winter so far, with the temperature falling to minus 10.2 Celsius in Braemar. Now, a Boyne is actually minus 9.6 at the moment, but of course it's rounded up to minus 10. Southampton minus 3. And generally, it is a cold start to the day. However, in the West, temperatures are that little bit higher.